Now, Travis was talking about this a moment ago. You know you felt it this morning. Cooler temperatures, they're creeping in, which means fall. It's almost here. And, of course, fall means apples are in season. Carolyn Piguet with Piguet's Prime Time is here in the Air Comfort Solutions kitchen with a recipe for apple dumplings. Yes. Okay, so perfect time of year perfect for that. Perfect timing. Well, we Walk know that, that apples are easily obtainable, and they're great this time of the year. And we've got so much variety, and it's kind of whatever your preference is. If you just if you like a tart more what they call cooking apples there's granny smiths and those kind of things there's fujis they're delicious so so forth but i really like honey crisp so that's what we're using today and the the thing that's kind of nice about the apple dumpling it's kind of like your own little individual apple pie and it's kind of a neat presence type thing we we use them in the restaurant because it's just a nice ending to a meal and it's really not that difficult okay i'm glad you said that because i i've got to tell you just by looking at it it seems a little intimidating right. but it, we it's, don't need to be we, it does not need to be okay uh, for example, they have apple cores that'll take these out, or if you have some of these cookie scoops, you can use that. And it's just basically you're going to take out that center core, take the seeds out, and then leave the bottom. And I was not raised with the uh, ability to do crust. My mother was a crust maker. She made two pies every day, so on and so forth. Wow. Somewhere I that jumped my generation. But... I am working to become better. But if you aren't, you can buy refrigerated pie crusts. You know, there are mixes or whatever. So that takes a little bit of the intensity out of it. Okay. And what I've basically done, I went ahead and cored this apple and I put a pat of butter in it and then uh, brown sugar. I rolled out my dough so that I could put that in the center. I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon on it because these are the spices that I love. I love cinnamon, I love nutmeg, all the things that you find for, it's cozy. you know. Yeah, for the coziness, yes. And then we're just gonna simply pull this up. Some people will kind of put it um, a little neater than I do. I just like it all to be pulled up around it and then surround that and then you have, you know, there's never, I don't think there's any problem ever having too much crust. I don't think crust is an issue. You are my kind of girl. <laughs> More crust, the better. More crust, the better. And you can just take a little bit of liquid and kind of seal that, and it will just completely cover that apple. And then I like to embellish it a little bit. You can take some of these little cookie cutters or oh, uh, seasonal cutters yes. and put leaves on it. And there's an apple uh, embellishment there that we can use along with the leaves. And then we'll simply place that in a baking pan and you'll pour kind of a sugar water syrup onto it and bake it. Um, then it kind of finishes out, it browns and so on and so forth. And then I like to do a, a topping and I did not list this in the recipes, but it's just a simple caramel sauce that's just brown sugar and butter and cream and then finish that out. But it makes it so good. Put some ice cream and it's great. Oh my goodness. And you're making me hungry just looking at it. We'll have to go warm them up and have some. <laughs> yeah, I will break. leave these for you. Oh you, yes. You folks okay. Today, I, so. I have a feeling we're all going to be fighting over them, <laughs> but that's okay. That's we can okay. Do that. Hey, but. for this recipe and many more like it, head over to our website newson6.com slash recipes coop back to you i'm gonna eat <laughs>